first time round for you? Is it uh, how was showdown week treating you this week compared to last year? Yeah, obviously last year I hadn't played in a showdown before and um, obviously you get to, to ex appreciate the build up for this week and it's been fantastic and being at Adelaide Oval for the first time has really added to that. Do you have any secrets for the boys? Are you still undefeated in showdowns? <laughs> Not quite. I think um, it would obviously be nice to keep that going but um, no, obviously it's a, it's a new year, a new showdown so we'll look at that this week. Have you been practising that kick? I haven't heard that too many times, but um, <laughs> uh, no, nah, obviously it was a bit of luck last year and uh, I don't think that'll happen again. Do you notice any dip, like with a, with a showdown win, does it affect team morale any differently to a, to a normal win? Uh, I think it's obviously, you, it's a big game and it's a big build up and obviously it's uh, great to get over the line, but at the end of the day it's only still the four points, the old cliche, but you know, that's how we look at it. So those big games, like, you know, obviously when you're at Essendon, if you won a uh, Anzac Day game or a whatever, like they don't, you know, they affect their morale any differently? Oh, yeah, it's definitely a, a big boost to win the big games and you, you get yourself up for them and you try to play well in them, but um, at the end of the day, it's you know, a win's a win. What do you see as the key battleground on Saturday? Uh, probably the midfield. I think that's probably where most games are won and lost, so... You know, they've obviously got some quality through their midfield with Dangerfield and Sloan and those type of guys. So if we can sort of match it with them and um, and get get the ball into our forward line where it's pretty dangerous, hopefully we can come away with it. I think you're more than capable of doing that because everyone's been talking up towards midfield as, a, as an emerging power. Yeah, I think so. I think obviously we're, we're pretty young midfield and we're still developing and um, Phil Walsh has obviously been a big part of our, our development and hopefully we can keep going on the weekend with that. What's he brought to the table? Oh, just his, his knowledge of the game, just the way he sees it. I think he communicates really well with all the players about how, how to go about it, and it's been good. Is it exciting being up forward? Because in that Carlton game, as soon as you guys got a clearance, the ball came in pretty clean. Is it exciting with the way the guys are working there? Yeah, I think as a forward line, we're pretty versatile set up. We've got a couple of options through goal, and um, you know we've got Big Westy and, and Butch down there, and then... If they're not kicking the goals, you've got guys like Robbie Gray and, and Chad Wingard at the fall. So um, it's a pretty versatile forward line and, and you know we can go through goals um, a number of ways. How's um, John Butcher going with his kicking? Every time it seems the crowd gets nervous when he's lining up for goal. Is, is he progressing, do you think? Yeah, Butcher's been working on that and um, you know he's been working at training on kicking the goals and he's been really good at that. So hopefully, you know, hopefully he's, the, all the practice he's been putting in can come into fruition on the weekend. Do you guys get nervous when he's with the ball? Sort of? Straight in front. Nah, I think you got you got to back your players in. So you know, Butch has been working on it, and um, I'm sure he'll, they'll come off every now and again, which will be good. It's probably an obvious question, but it's a big difference between two zip and one one, isn't it, to start the season? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, but obviously, it's you know very early into the season, so um, you know, obviously you want results to go your way. But if they don't, you're not too worried at this early stage of the year. What do you think of your uh, ability to, to get under the skin of opponents? I mean, it, it is a skill. But do you sort of embrace that as one of those players that opposition fans probably love to hate a little bit? Oh, a little bit, but I think at the end of the day, you just want to play footy and, and play as best as you can. And if you can do a little bit of that while you're out there, you know, that's good as well. It's not the sort of thing that you ever work on or it's not, it's not a part of your game? No, nah, not really. No. Nah. Do you take any interest in what's going to happen at your old club today, meeting about James Hurd? Oh, not really. I mean, I'm Port Adelaide player now, so I'll just worry about that. Oh, right. so, almost reinforce your decision to come over here when you know, things are going so well and stable here and there's a bit of turmoil over there? No, nah, not really. I mean, uh, my decision was had nothing to do with anything that was going over there to come back home. So, you know, I'm worried about the showdown this week. How have you handled um, being a leadership group this year? Has it changed the way you think about your footy or, or the way you train or anything like that? No, nah, not really. I think just go about the way I train, just try to train well and, and I guess lead by the way you... Uh, um, you train and play, so it hasn't really changed too much about the way I've gone about things. Do you reckon you're very much the player that just lets his footy do the talk, you know, just sort of talk to the guys or anything like that? Yeah, part of I think is just trying to perform well on, on game day and, and, and at training, so I haven't really changed too much about how I've gone about things. How many are you expecting to win by on Sunday? What's that, sorry? How many are you expecting to win by on Sunday? <laughs> I think any margin would be nice to win by, so, but we've obviously got to do a few things before that'll happen, so we'll just see what happens. Do you have any sort of special Adelaide Oval memories, like growing up or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I played a game there when I was um, 17 for Sturt. It was a preliminary final. Um, and I remember there was 13,000 people there and um, I thought it was the greatest thing in the world. The atmosphere was awesome. So to be able to go back there and play this weekend, hopefully in front of 50,000, 
will be um, an amazing experience and hopefully we can um, we can play well. How um, sort of important for you guys, especially forwards, is the run on Friday going to be there just to get a sense of the wind and, you know, which pop is good to kick from, that kind of stuff? Yeah, we had a little bit of a run on there a couple of weeks ago, but, um, yeah, we've only had the one run, so it'll be good to get out there on Friday, I guess, just to get the dimensions of the ground and, you know, see how you go about that and uh, have, a, have a kick at goal and, and, you know, obviously see how you go. Is Elabado Carlo looking like he could be ready to come back to the team? Yeah, I think uh, Bobby's been training well. He played on the weekend and um, got through fine, so hopefully he can get through today and then um, put his hand up for selection.